Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking you through what my top 10 uses for Zaflora are in the kitchen and utility area. So if you want to see what my tips are then please keep watching. Now before we jump into the video I just wanted to introduce myself. If this is the first time you've seen me, clicked on any of my videos, then my name is Emma. Welcome, I'm really glad to have you here on my channel. I really hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already. I post lots of different content, lots of clean and motivational videos, um, organization videos, vlogs, shopping hauls, so lots and lots of different content, so I really hope you'll consider subscribing. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help support my channel and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content, so please give it a big thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And let's jump straight into the video. When I was filming um, my most recent video, which was a kitchen clean, I decided that I was gonna do that in a slightly different way. So I've got lots of cleaning videos on my channel, but I wanted just to clean the kitchen using only Zaflora, which I do do quite often, but I'm also guilty of having a under storage unit under my sink filled with lots of different cleaning products. So I thought it would just be a, a different spin on a clean video and I would use just Sephora. And when I was doing that, it's just reignited my love for Sephora. So I've got here my little tray, which sits in my under sink um, storage. I've got like a unit under there and I've got my different scents here. Um, I do have a couple of spare of Twilight Garden because it is my all time favorite. So I stock up when I see that. And originally you could only get the small bottle of that, but they've now come out with the, the bigger version. So I've got a couple of these in case it ever does. I mean, it is limited edition, so it might, you never know, they might discontinue it. So I've got a couple just in case. But I thought I would just talk you through um, what my top 10 favorite ways to use the floor are in the kitchen and kind of like utility area. Um, I mean, there are lots of other ways I could think of, but I just wanted to narrow it down to my top 10 favorite ways to use it and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so my first tip, tip number one, is to use the flora as a spray, so as an antibacterial spray, a cleaning spray. Now, you can either buy a spray bottle, um, they sell them in lots of the, the cheaper shops, B&M's, Home Bargains, Poundland, or you can reuse a spray bottle you've got that maybe has ran out. That's what I personally like to do, rather than just throwing away a bottle. Now you need to just double check the measurements with how much um, of the flora you need to mix with water. So in the spray bottle I'm using, it's a 500 milliliter and I'm using a cap full of product. So I pop that in, fill it with water and I'm good to go. Now I like to use this to spray my actual cupboard and drawer fronts and also my worktops. So that is my first tip. You've probably seen this before, so these aren't sort of new tips, they're tips that I've picked up by watching other people clean um, on Instagram, on YouTube, and it's just something I've tried and I really enjoyed doing. So they're probably tips that you've already heard of, but I thought I would go through them in a little bit more detail with you in case you haven't heard of any of these. So tip number two is to use it to pop just inside of your kitchen bin. So obviously bins aren't the most pleasant of places. So what I like to do is I like to get a piece of kitchen roll and I'll just fold it into half or quarters. And then I will take the Zaflora directly from the bottle, so the concentrated Zaflora. I'll pop a few, um, I'll just get the kitchen paper, tip the bottle up so there's a few patches of product on the kitchen towel and then I will sit that in the bottom of the bin and then pop a bin bag over it but it just means every time you go into the bin you get that lovely smell of Sephora and also it keeps the bin nice and sanitized and then going back to my first tip I will then take my spray bottle and just spray down the bin and wipe it all over. So for tip three I recommend spraying it and wiping down chairs. Now this will depend what sort of chairs you have in your kitchen so I would test a small area first. In my kitchen we have oak chairs and what I do is I don't spray the spray directly onto the chairs itself I will spray a microfiber cloth and then I will just wipe over the backs um, the base of the chair where the kids are kind of like touching they may have food on their hands etc so it just cleans it down makes it smell beautiful and sanitizes and then we also have seat cushions on our chairs because they are solid and they're not the most comfy what I will do with the seat covers is I will take my diluted spray bottle and I will just spray the cushion um, obviously leave it to dry before you sit straight on it but that will just kill any bacteria any germs and make the cushion 
smell lovely every time you walk into the kitchen. So that's tip number three. Okay, tip number four. Again, this is probably one that you've seen about a lot. This isn't a new thing, but I like to just take a microfiber cloth and use my spray bottle again, and I will spray the cloth and I will wipe down all my door handles, all my light switches, just to make sure I'm killing any germs and um, bacteria. This is something I tend to do daily um, because I've got two little children and you know, goodness knows what they're touching in the garden, etc. So I like to just make sure all the door handles are nice and sanitized and not to mention it makes the house smell absolutely amazing. Okay. Tip number five is to use on the microwave. So I like to keep on top of my microwave. Um, our kitchen hasn't long been done, um, so I like to keep on top of my microwave. Our previous microwave wasn't in the best of shape. I let it build up and it would take forever to clean. So what I like to do with this microwave, you can either pop a bowl of um, warm water in the microwave, pop it on for a few minutes to help loosen if you've got some sort of hard, um, you know, dried on sauce or things like that that have spilt inside. If your stains aren't too stubborn, you can just spray a cloth, a minky, any kind of um, dish cloth that you use with the diluted product in the spray bottle and then just wipe all inside and then just dry it off. You don't want to leave the product in the microwave because obviously you are going to be cooking food in there but it works a treat and it smells absolutely amazing. So, okay so moving on to tip number six. This is something that works a treat in the colder months here. Um, so my radiator that you can see just behind me, I've got radiators pretty much in every room in the house. So what I like to do is take my spray diluted bottle, I will just spray a microfiber cloth again, and I will just wipe down the radiators. It's a good way of getting any dust and sort of marks that might be on there. And then when the heating does come on, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, it's not as strong in the summer because we don't tend to use our heating unless it's particularly cold um, but it, the smell will just linger in the room anyway so it's a good way of just cleaning down and make your room smell absolutely amazing so that's tip number six use on your radiators okay moving on so tip number seven is to use Zaflora in the plug holes and drains now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this so you can simply just take a cap full of neat Zaflora and just pop it down the drain you can leave it to sit there and obviously then every time you run the tap or walk into the room it will smell amazing the way I'm going to show you is just for a little bit more of a deeper clean so um, in this particular example I popped a cup full of soda crystals into each plug hole and then I took a cap full of neat Zaflora, just poured that on top of the soda crystals so it works through the actual crystals. And then I've boiled the kettle and then once that's boiled I will pour it all over it until it's all dissolved into the drain. It left the sink smelling absolutely amazing and not to mention give the drains and the plug holes a really good clean. So that's tip number seven. Tip number eight is to just pop the floor in the washing machine. Now, I don't tend to do this if I'm washing our clothes, but if I'm washing towels, um, and for example, you're gonna see me now just washing all the cloths that I use from this particular clean, I'll pop everything in the washing machine, and what I'll do is I'll just pop a neat cap full of Zaflora in the actual drawer where the fabric conditioner goes, and I'll also pop a little bit directly into the drum, pop it on a quick spin, and the towels, cloths, minkies come out smelling amazing and they've been fully sanitized. So that's tip number eight. Tip number nine is to pop the flora in the dishwasher. Now I, again, we've got a fairly new dishwasher so I like to keep on top of it. So what I find, we don't actually use it a whole bunch but when we do use it, when it once it's finished, I will take the filter out, just bang out any bits of food um, and just give it a quick wash over. I do put a cleaner through once a month because we live in a particularly hard water area here. But what I also like to do in between the monthly um, dishwasher cleans is I will, once the dishwasher is empty, I will just pop a neat cap full of Sephora. You can even use um, Fabulous that I've been using recently because that is absolutely amazing and very similar to Sephora. I will just pop that in, just chuck it straight in the dishwasher, nothing else in there, pop it on an eco spin, once it's finished it smells amazing and the shine in the dishwasher is incredible i mean it's better than any shine after any cleaner i pop in so that's tip number nine using the dishwasher 
Okay, and finally, tip number 10 is just to spray any mats that you have. So I've got a couple of mats in my kitchen. I've got a mat leading out to my washing machine. I've got a mat in the center and then a mat at our back door. So once I have cleaned the floors, mopped the floors, and I've laid the mats back down, all I will do is I will take my diluted Sephora and I will just spray the mats. It kills any germs, um, any bacteria, and not to mention leaves the kitchen utility smelling absolutely amazing. So that's tip number 10, don't forget to spray your mat. And that's it for my Zaflora tips for the kitchen utility area. As I said, that isn't the end of it. There are a whole list of ways you can use Zaflora. I'd really like to know how you use your Zaflora in your kitchen or, or around the house. So please let me know in the comments if you've got any other hacks, tips that you would recommend. I'd love to try them out. So let me know in the comments. Um, as I said at the start, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, it really does help support the channel and if you're not already I really hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and we'd love to have you part of our YouTube family. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday at 5pm um, UK time so yeah please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it will mean the world to me and without further ado I'm going to end the video so I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone! My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid